Okay, so normally we end uh, we end our dinner by sharing with you the story po paano kami napunta dito. So, gusto ko lang mo na malaman nyo, wala talaga sa plano ang bukid nun. And all of this never never came to my mind. Alam mo, panaginip yung ganun. So, this is much bigger than whatever I've dreamed of before. Okay, but anyway, let me just start. Um, Siguro ang kwento niya, no, nagsimula in 1995, HP took us kasi I used to work for the distributor. Eh. 1995, um, they brought us into HP. And kung ano, maganda yung promise, eh, di ba? More perks, more tools, mga ganun. And one of the shocking nun, sabi nila, we'll make you very productive so that you don't have to be so stressed. Binigyan ako ng, meron ako... Uh, pager, meron akong cellphone, meron akong notebook, meron kang... So, uh, eh, hindi pala maganda yon, Because when they make you productive, they make everybody productive. So, mamaya yung email mo, ang dami-dami. So, hindi pa rin siya, hindi pa rin talaga siya light. And then, work became so, so, eh, mga grabe siya. Because it's a, it was a startup, the startup, like sa startup siya. And I would work, um, yun, I would work 10 to 12 hours a day. Wala pa traffic yun. We live in United Paranaque too. Kung lang yan, 12 kilometers yan. 2 hours, one way. So, ganun kami nun. And when it was nice, no, si Pichi, si Pichi never nags me. When I come home, sabihin lang niya, hinahanap ka ng mga anak mo. So, that became a burden. Um, pero ako, I was able to work properly kasi nga, si Pichi would not complain. Pero andun na yung burden. So, towards the end of 1996, I wanted to resign. Sabi ko, ay, ayoko yung, alam mo, pag mamatay ka na, sabihin mo sarili mo, sana, no, I spent more time with my family. So, I was ready to resign in 1996. And then, pre-remote nila ako. I became assistant country manager of the division. And, ang boss ko taga na si Singapore because he was a transition country, a country manager. And sabi ko, okay ito, kasi, if I, I'm, now the, I'm now the boss, I can change the system, simplify it, mag Pagdating ng 1997, hindi ko masimplify because of the ways of the Singaporeans. They're workaholic, iba yan sila, matipid, kuripot yan sila, and hindi, hindi ko siya mapasimplify. But at the same time, pagdating ng January 1997, I all of a sudden felt this very, just felt this question from the Lord. Kung attend ako Bible study, feeling ko yun, tinatanong ni God, nakilig ako ng uh, Bible study sa radio, yun pa rin. Ang tanong niya, what's between you and me? What's preventing you from giving me your life? Parang ganon. Simple lang yon. Trabaho. Maski long hours siya, I enjoy my job eh. Ang rason, you see, alam mo, enjoy ka pag you're performing, di ba? And our our business was so complicated. It's test and measurement. Wala masyado nakakaintindi niyan. It's a highly technical. Hindi siya computer, hindi siya printer. Highly technical. So ako alam ko yun. Napapat- I, I, I was relatively successful. So, yung burden na yun kept coming, okay? And, I don't know if it was February or April, finally sabi ko kay God, Sige Lord, I will go where you want me to go, I will do what you want me to do. Sabi ko, tantanan mo lang ako, tama na, di ba? Pero hindi ko alam ano pinagsasabi ko, okay? Pagkasabi ko noon, the following day, pagpasok ko sa opisina, pagkita ko sa opisina, nasusuka ako, literally. All of a sudden, I lost the joy of work. Okay? When I lost the joy of work, doon ako nag-struggle. Saan ako pupunta? Kasi in 1997, the Asian economy ko lang, tatanggalan sila ng mga kwan. Eh, I was assistant country manager, hindi mo ako tinatanggal. So I really struggled with the Lord. Hindi ko alam sa pupunta. I could, Lord, bakit ngayon? So the struggle went on for a long time. In quiet time ko, sa ko. Pero I, I lost the joy of work. Na kaya ako nagtatrabaho, I just did not want to be a bad witness. Ano mo, wala ka ng gana na want to space sa economy collapse. So, so yun ang struggle ko with God until July of 1997 came. Yung sinabi ko sa inyo, I was jogging in our subdivision after one round, yung walkman ko, nakawa kayo sa walkman, kala nyo, ganun kayo ko bata. <laughs> yung walkman ko started to turn off. You no? Know? Let's turn it on, run, turn it off again. So, sabi ko sa mind ko, baka kakusapin ako ni God. Pero alam mo, biro ko lang yun sa sarili ko. Baka kakusapin ako ni God. And again, sa akin, impression, I was nobody in our church. I used to go to CCF. Minsan nga, hindi pa ako makate ng 
uh, care group, care group tawag namin doon, hindi pa kumakatin, struggle because of work. So, never lang yun, impression. Until I turned it off, started to run. Then I heard the voice dito sa likod nito. I remember sa right. Sabi, sabi ng boses, leave. It was very, very clear. Pagtingin ko sa kali, walang tao. And that's the reason I ran again. I ran home. Nagsumo ko sa misis ko. Sabi ko, nakarinig ako ng boses. The voice said, leave. Of course, my wife, I don't know kung naniwala siya. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero, I cannot act on the voice. Diba? Kasi hindi mo alam kung saan galing yung boses eh. And some people would even say, ingat ka. Kasi nga, bakit naman akong kakausapin ni God? So what I did, I asked God for three signs. Started with July of 1997, sabi ko kay God, Lord, alam ko hindi ako kukota. If you want me to leave, let me hit my target so that nobody will accuse me of abandoning them during hard times. I'm just bad witness. Isa yon. Yung second, sabi ko kay God, Pagdating ng August, merong dalawang manager, isa from the US, isa from Singapore. Linapitan ako, sabi na, it's been confirmed. You're going to be promoted next year. I will become full country manager. Eh, yun yung dream ko. Ang dream ko talaga, maging GM ng HP Philippines. Uh, below the GM are three country managers. So, magiging country manager ako. So, that would be a step closer. So, sabi ko, ay God, naman Lord, Pag pre-note mo, pre-note mo ko, bigyan lang ako maraming pera, bigyan lang ako ng perks, hindi ako aalis, makukonfuse ako. So, wag mo ko i-promote. Okay, so, it be weird. Pero, 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 wag mo ko i-promote. Tapos, my financial habits then was extremely bad. Tomorrow, I'll teach you how to manage your money. It's just so different from the way I manage before. Kasi nga, di ba, may akids eh. May akenta. Okay lang maubos ang akenta, may akins eh. May, may akins eh. Tapos, I was in sales. So, may commission pa ako. Diba? So, parati ako walang pera. Okay? So, yung misis ko, because of that, ang tipid-tipid ng misis ko kasi feeling niya maghihirap kami. Okay? So, ba, naging, na, you see, my wife, when she was not yet married, kanyan siya, lahat ng, lahat ng gamit niya, branded. Okay, kung magregalo yan, maganda. Nung nag-asawa kami, lahat yung binago niya. Kasi kala niya, ubusin ko pera namin eh. So, ganun. So, wala akong, wala akong, wala akong savings. So, sabi ko kay God, Lord, I will forfeit my retirement. Pwede ba give me four months worth of my salary? Hindi ko alam kung paano, baka siguro after four months, makakita ako ng opportunity. So, ganun. Okay? And, and ito na. October came. October is the last month of our fiscal year. Ang fiscal year namin, November to October. That October, ang kulang ko, $1 million. It was a quota for a quarter. Or for four months. Okay? Kwan na kami noon, even during the time, I would do values formation for my people. So, our group would pray. We were praying, sana we hit quota. <clears throat> Imagine na, kulang ko, $1 million. Okay? And so, we were still hopeful. Tatama kami. First 27 days, ang benta namin, $58,000. Lapit, no? Konti na lang, no? Konti na lang, no? Di ba? So, that evening, buwi ako, sabi ko kay Pichi, bitch, mali yung boses. It's impossible for me to hit quota in four days. Di ba? We're staying. Pero pagdating ng October 28, okay, pagdating ko sa opisina, Yung fax machine namin, oh, hindi nyo na naman alam ko ano yung fax machine namin. Yung fax, fax machine namin started to print out one purchase order after another. Hindi malaking benta, maraming sunod-sunod na benta. Tapos people would call me, sabihin na, Dong, nasan ng tao mo? Kailangan ko bumili this month. Ano mo, parang sila nag-uubos ng pera? Ba't na ito sa October? So, gulo-gulo namin doon. Ang dami po pasok na benta. Yung order processing namin, hinutel ko na, wag na kayong umuwi. So, we were processing so many orders. In four days, we sold two million dollars. Wow. Double than may kota. Alam mong hindi galing sa yo. We finished second best in Southeast Asia. There were only three countries who met target. We were number two. In spite of that, hindi ako na promote. Okay. And then ang bonus ko, magkano bonus mo? Four months. Four months worth of my salary. Nung nangyari yun, sabi ko sa kanya, I did to resign. Otherwise, I will sin against God. 
sabi ni Pichi sa tayo pupunta. Kasi alam ko na eh, nagko-collapse yung, eh, ang, ang economy ng Manila eh. So, hindi pwede Luzon. And then I was checking before that, so, hindi pwede Visayas sa Mansa Visayas. So in, in my mind, punta tayo sa isang lugar na mapapahaba yung pera natin. Because the only asset we had then was a house. We, we had a house then na, na pag binenta na, siko, yan ang pangkuhunan natin. So yung tinanong niya ako, saan tayo pupunta, sabi ko, kagayaan di oro. Pero problema, we've never been to Cagayan de Oro. The only reason sinabi ko sa Cagayan de Oro, kasi it was the least progressive place in the three areas where Christians are safe. Davao, Jensan, Cagayan de Oro. In my mind, Cagayan de Oro pinaka-backward. Siguro hahaba pera natin doon. Yun lang yun. Pero problema, wala kami kilala sa Cagayan de Oro. And we've never been to Cagayan de Oro. So ginawa namin, naghanap kami na pwedeng mag-host, yung kaibigan, until she found out na yung in-laws ng, ay yung parents ng sister-in-laws niya, kapatid ng, ng brother niya, were from Cagayan de Oro. Kapatid, wife ng brother niya. Okay? Anyway. So, so the host, they offered to host. Okay? So, and then, alam niyo yung November... 30, diba, diba holiday yan? Emotional. Uh, tumama yun on a Thursday. So it would be a long weekend. So doon kami nagplano. Thursday para para baka siya pa na uh, hindi masyado mag-absent, no? But anyway, before we came, I was telling God, Lord, let my wife choose the place or let my wife confirm. You know, I've learned my lesson already, diba? Pag kinukontra ko siya, pati ako nagkakamali, so sabi ko, let my wife choose the place. Pero hindi ko sinabi sa kanya. Yun lang in my mind. Okay? So pagdating namin, sinundo kami, excited yung host. Ang ginawa sa kanya, the first thing she did, they did was bring her to Madness Hill sa isang maliit na mall. Alam mo, yun yung iniiwasan sa Manila. Ayaw na namin ng mga ganon. Doon siya dinala. So nung gabi pag uwi niya, sabi niya, ayoko ng kagyan ko. Sabi ko, patay. Wala na. Diba, goodbye, bakasyon na lang tayo nito. Because I don't know where Bukid nun is. Pero of course, the the family was asking, what do you want to do? Sabi ko, siguro farming. Mga, 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 mga typical, typical yun ng plano, di ba? Farming, mga ganyan. So, syempre, yung mga kaibigan nila, na-excite. Kasi mga magbibenta ng lupa eh. Di ba, may bibili ng lupa nila. So, they they offered to bring us around on that Saturday. Pero in my mind, pasyal na lang to. Kasi magbibakwita sila ng lupa. So, akit kami dito. I remember, dito kami unang dumaan dyan sa palengke na, pero punta niyo yung palengke, di ba? Dati, ang palengke niya, kasi laki lang si Milya yan. That was it, maliit yan. Pero ito sa Saturday, so tabo day, sinasabi ko sa inyo, market day. Ito lang building nun. It was just all open, all t- uh, bamboo tables. Oh, yeah. talipapasta. Oh, may naghihila ng kabing, may nagdadala ng manok. Mm-hmm. So, natuwa siya kasi magbabarter sila, magbitrade sila eh. Di ba? So, dumaan kami dyan, pinakitaan kami ng lupa, 40 hectares. Ay, oh, wow, hindi ko mo lang makita yung dulo ng 40 hectares. <laughs> yung ganun, no? Na-overwhelm kami. Of course, hindi naman namin siya, bibili kami, di ba? So, sabi, oh, sige, dalhin namin kayo sa Malay-Balay. So, they were offering land. <clears throat> so, punta kami ng Balay-Balay, <clears throat> Dumaan kami sa Sumilaw. Sumilaw is a place na may sigsag, kala mo bagyo. Okay? So she was beside me. Sabi niya, you know, it would be nice to live in a place like this. So in my mind, bukit mo, ang gusto ni God. Kasi miracle she wants to live in a place like this. Kasi, born in Pasay, grew up in Makati, worked in New York. For her to want bukit doon, Di ba weird yun, di ba? Okay? Si Peachy is an interior designer. That's the reason for that. And she worked in New York to do that. So, di ba? You know, kung mo, tag gusto mo, bukid nun. Di ba? Tapos yun nang ay, ah, bukid nun. Pag-uwi namin, I type my resignation, email it to my boss, resign na ako. But I did not resign because of bukid nun. I resigned because I did not want to sin against God bahala na ito. Because sinagot ako eh. Alam mo, I resigned, my boss never told me. Di ba, Norman, tatamod ka mag-resign, di ba? My boss never told me. 
I'll tell you mamaya ano nangyari. Pero, habang andun ako, the only person who know na nag-resign ako, GM namin. So, alam niya. Tapos, that month, grabe lahat ang hingi ko sa kumpanya. Binibigay nila. Lahat ang hingi ko kay God. Sinasagot niya. So, yung kumpanya, hindi ko alam kung tuwang-tuwa silang paanis ako. Or, you know, I remember, I remember, kung Christmas party. Alam mo, malas talaga ako sa raffle, raffle. The best that I won in a Christmas party, in a raffle, was instant noodles. <laughs> Mananalo ka lang, instant noodles. <laughs> diba? Pagkatapos, so sabi ko kay God, Lord, you know, the company's been very kind to me. Bigyan mo naman ako ng uh, souvenir. Gusto ko yung first prize. The first prize was a colored TV. So anyway, and doon kami, we were praying. The children were very small, we were praying. So alam na namin, mananalo kami ng first prize, di ba? So ang ginawa pa nila, para hindi unfair, ang unang kinuha, medyo raffle. Kasi di ba, minsan unfair sa raffle. Kung buha ka na, ibabalik mo yung luma, di ba? Kinuha nila, major, major prizes. Okay? So meron na yun. So we were joking, sinasabi ko sa, sa GM, amin yan, amin yan, pero yun yung private joke namin. <laughs> Tapos, di major raffle na. Sa major price, they decided not to call the name, but the employee number. So, pagtawag niya ako, parang kilala ko yun. <laughs> <laughs> nanalo ko first price. The first time nanalo ko. Yung TV na yun, yung nakita yung TV sa container ba? Andun pa rin siya. It's my studio. Okay. So, gano'n. So, janu- eh, yung boss ko naman, tinawagan ko. December 19, sabi ko, wala ba tayong transition? I'm taking all my leave. So, alis na ako, hindi na ako babalik. Wala siyang plano pumunta sa Pilipinas. Feeling ko, feeling niya, binablock siya. Di ba? Hindi na ako pre-remote eh. Baka feeling niya, nagtampo ko eh. Pero happy ako na hindi niya ako tinawagan. Kasi baka i-convince niya ako eh, di ba? So, hindi talaga kami nag-usap. Wala. Wala na akong trabaho. January 1, wala na akong trabaho. Eh kaya ako naniniwala, huwag ka mag-retire. Kasi nung parang gano'n, retire ako, parang nababalo ako ng isang buwan. Pero hindi mo alam, kasi sanay na sanay ka eh. Para akong trumpo, hindi ko alam ano gagawin. Until February. February, may couple seminar na ginawa ang CCF. And maliit pa nun ang CCF, sabi ni Peter Tanchi, oh, gusto mo pumunta ng bukin nun, tumulong ka doon. So we, we did. Okay, tumulong kami sa Cagayan. After that, akit kami sa bukin nun, naghahanap na kami ng opportunity. When I was looking around, sabi ko hindi pwede crop farming, naglalaro ang presyo niya. Dapat contract growing. Pero problema sa contract growing, ang laki ng investment. But never mind, testing lang naman, di ba? So, lahat ng chicken farm sarado, they're not taking in more growers. The only group open was Monterey. So, punta kami sa Malay-Balay, we talked to them. So, siyempre, habang nag-uusap, kala mo may pera ka, di ba? Okay? Sabi nila, you need 13 million to put up the facility. Facility pa lang, wala pang lupa, wala pang kuryente, wala, facility pa lang, 13 million. So, siyempre, kung magsalita ako, kala mo may access ka sa 13 million, no? Hindi mm-hmm. ko sinabi, ang pera ko, 4 months worth of my salary lang. So, mamit, tumayo si Pichi, umalis si Pichi, ha? Kung nakabuhin mo, umalis siya. Finally, natapos kami sa kubit ko, umalis. Eh, kinikilabutan ako sa pinagsasabi mo. <laughs> kala mo, may pera ka. <laughs> Sabi ko, siyempre, kunwari, hindi tayo kakausapin, eh. Okay? Nagtatigda ka. <laughs> so, ito sinabi nila sa akin. 13 million to put up the facility. They assume you have land. Okay? Eh, wala kami pang lupa. So, ibig sabihin, more than 13 million. Eight months to work on the pond, to, to look for land. <coughs> Kasi babuyan eh. Walang taong gusto may babuyan sa palibot nila eh. Kasi mabaho, di ba? <coughs> Eight months to work, to look for land. Four months to work on the permit. Yung permit madugo. Mayor, mayor yan. Lagayan yan. So, in my mind, sa Wow, ang hiningi ko kay God, four months lang. Mali. Sabi ko, in four months, baka makita ko ng kwantas, four months of our to my salary lang. Wala pang isang million yun. Okay? So, sabi ko, mali talaga. So, in my, so, in, so, 12 months to work on that land, not 12 months, or 8 months, plus 4. So, sabi ko kay Pichi, 
we're not for Bukidnon. There's no way we can go to Bukidnon. And we, even if we can borrow money, hindi natin kaya. Ang interest rate nun nasa 18%, 18 to 20. Okay, kakainin ka ng bangko. So pag uwi namin, that was the first time nagsing sa akin, ano itong ginawa ko? Okay? Kasi may pamilya akong bubuhayin, eh. paano ko sila bubuhayin? Sabi ko kay God, God, ano, wag na trabaho ba uli ako? So when I was struggling, I opened the classified ads, nakalagay doon trabaho ko sa HP. Sabi ko kay God, nulo ko mo ko doon. <laughs> <laughs> Pero hindi ko talaga laman ng gagawin. Parang all of us ating nagsara lahat. So that was the first time na I stayed home and just prayed. Okay? Hindi ako lumabas, parang I felt bad kasi si ko ang sasabihin ng nanay ng misis ko. Okay? Ano gagawin ko? So, two weeks sa bahay lang ako. Until Monterey Cold. Two weeks after Monterey Cold, sabi nila, sigurado ka ba gusto mo magtayo ng babuyan? Apparently, El Nino nun eh. Walang gusto, oh, sama ang presyo, ah, walang gusto, walang nag-offer. Parang ako lang dumapit sa kanila. Sabi ko, pero wala akong lupa eh. Sabi na, meron kaming uh, partner. May lupa na, tumatakbo na yung permit, and then binibenta niya. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nakita yung lupa for many months, tumatakbo na yung permit, inahayos niya na, binibenta niya. Gusto niyo bang makita? Saan ko siyempre? Diba? Tingnan natin. Okay? So, pagpunta ko dito, And you, you know, when you go there, sabi sa akin ng kibigan ko, dati malabig pa masyado dito, sabi ng kibigan ko, 20 pesos na lang doon, nasa langit ko tayo. <laughs> Kasi mataas yun. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, pagi pa, parang gano'n, no? Tapos, pero ang hirap puntahan, yung lugar remote na remote. In fact, most people would tell me, ano mo naman nakita itong lupa na to? So, in-offer sa amin, no? So, kausap ko yung nagbibenta. Kaya niya binibenta, tatakbo siyang mayor. Gusto na lang niya yung pera. So, tinanong ko siya, kailan mo nakita yung lupa? Kasi na 8 months to work for land, 4 months to work for the permit, kailan mo nakita yung lupa? Sabi niya, around July of 1997. Does that sound familiar? Mm-hmm. July? Ano yung July? Mm-hmm. Ha? Jogging. Mm-hmm. Narinig ko yung boses. Apparently, nung narinig ko yung boses, pinakita na ni God sa kanya, and then pinatrabaho niya. Okay? Tinabaho niya, tapos bibigyan niya lang sa akin. Okay? So, may lupa. Walang pera. Di ba? Saan pupukan ng pera? I remember yung yung brother ni Pichi who lived in the US. In 1996, he came home. Binibenta nila yung factory, yung land ng factory nila sa Pasig. Sabi nila, nag-appreciate na siya. Pag binenta natin to, magnegosyo na tayo lahat. Hati-hati na. Matatos 1996. The economy is good. This time, it was 1998. Everybody was selling, nobody was buying. At sabi ko kay Pichi, subukan natin pamilya mo. Pero of course, si Pichi immediately reacted, di ba? Hard times. Ibang umutang ka, tapos bunso. Mapipressure yun, tutulong sa, tutulong sa anak nila, di ba? Sabi niya, nakakaya ngayon. So sabi ko sa kanya, Babes, I just want to know kung atin to. Kung humindi sila, ibig sabihin, we're not from Bukinon. Subok lang. Mas, pero nahiyari na ko noon. Di ba? Nakakahiya naman. Di ba? So, dumating yung Sunday. Di ba? We offered, can you explain to you what will, what, anong gusto namin gawin sa bukin noon? Alam niyo, Sunday na sinasahay ko, mm-hmm. ilalabas yung mani. Ilalabas yung mani. <laughs> di ba? Ayun, yun, no? So, after that, after lunch, present ako. Naka-powerpoint pa ko noon eh. Di ba? Okay. Di ba? Okay? Pero ito yung gist ng presentation ko. Okay? parang summary ng presentation. Kung parang sinasabi ko sa kanya, yung bunsuhon yung anak, yung paborito niyo, gusto ko sana dalhin sa Mindanao. E conflict place sa Mindanao na. Gusto ko kong dalhin sa Mindanao. Tapos gusto ko namin magpalaki ng baboy. Pwede ko bang pautang? <laughs> di ba ang ganda ng ating presentation? Di ba? Parang sigurado, no? matutuwa. No? Di ba? Yung bunsuhon yung anak, dadalhin sa Mindanao. Tapos yung sanay sa magand- marangyang buhay, ipapababoy ko. Di ba? Pagbababoy. Di ba? Pwede pa ho pautang. So, syempre, in-expect ko na. Hindi. Di ba? I just wanted to cry. Ang nagsilita nanay niya, sabi ng nanay niya, ah, ngayon nang-intindihan ko na. 
bakit yung pastor na bumibisita dito for one year ang tinuro lang sa amin si Abraham? Hindi ko alam paano niya nang pahaba yung Abraham. Pero for one year, yun lang daw pinag-uusapan nila. Tapos sabi ng nanay niya, kasi akalis sa anak. Can you imagine? Diba? So, hindi nagalit yung nanay niya. Masi siya pong bonito. Hindi, hindi, hindi nag-object. Diba, babe? Yung paborito, ewan ko. Kone, kahit suwa ili. Pero paborito kasi bata hinahanap. Diba? Hinahanap. Yeah. Diba? But anyway, hindi yun na. Tapos sabi ng kapatid na babae, nagpapatakbo ng, kap- ng kumpanya. We don't have that money. 13 million. But we have half. Papahiram namin sa inyo. Nasyak ako. Kasi sa kusan ang galing yung pera nila. Sinisip ko may bahay naman eh. I will sell the house to complete the farm. So hindi ako nagtanong. Pero feeling ko, alam mo, parang, parang meron ako out of body experience. Nanunod ako ng sine. Yung nanay pumayag, yung kapatid. <laughs> yung parang, yung mga, parang paano nangyari ito? Pero happy ako, hindi na ako nagtanong. And then we started to talk. Anong gagawin? Yung mga ganyan-ganyan. Hindi ako nagtanong. A few years after, a few years after, sabi nung okay na, nag-settle down na, sabi nung kapatid ni Pichi, ni Elja, sabi niya, you want to know kung saan galing yung pera? Sabi ko, siyempre, okay, okay na eh, di ba? Sabi niya, bago kayo dumating, ang dami naming benta. Yung negosyo nila, very cold. Alam mo, for, uh, foldable partitions, hotel, restaurant, yun yung negosyo nila. Sabi nila, Before you came, ang daming order. Million, million. Tapos lahat nag-offer ng 50% down. Hindi namin alam sa anong, anong gagawin sa pera. And then dumating eh. Now, most people would say, grabe ang faith mo. No? Grabe ang leap of faith mo. And I always have to tell them, I did not leap in faith. I was so scared, I'd walk in faith. I, I, I like explaining this because karamihan ng Kristiyano would say, Lord, ha, tatalo na ako. Ha. Saluin mo ako. Ha. And, and we feel that since God is powerful, you can catch me. Di ba? Tapos minsan, tutuloy kayo once wala, wala pang blessing. Ako, I started to understand that God is Father. May tanong ako sa, may tanong ako sa inyo, Ed. Pag yung anak mo pupunta sa isang lugar, sabi mo, bahala ka. Ano mga gagawin mo? Hindi, di ba? Ito ang tatay. Ang tatay, mauna sa lugar. Maghahanap ng mag-aalaga sa anak niya. Ang hari, kung na, boss tayo, may tao ka, punta sa lugar, o oh, ito baon ba? Pagkasyahin mo. Di ba? Sa kanap, pag, uh, when you call for help, I'll send you more money. Pero ang tatay, hindi. Hindi ka pa nga doon, papadalan ka na ng blessing eh. Tapos ayusin niya na yun. So yung storya namin, para bang, for the land, may, may blinis siya. Okay? And then, binigay sa amin yung lupa. Ito, may blinis siya. Binigay sa amin yung pera. So, ganun ako. I did not live in faith. I walked in faith. So, that was a... Uh, alam nyo, pan kami. Because the money was there, the land was there, we, we signed the deed of sale. April 30, 1998. Now, ano April 30? The last day of the four months. Sabi ko kay God, baka in four months. Diba? So, he, yun na ayos niya. Parang, parang lang sabihin niya sa akin, I'm answering you. We signed the deed of sale on April 30. We started to construct June 1. Bakit June 1? Kasi, may contractor na, may supplier na, may plano na. Yung dating kwan, inayos niya yun. Kami na lang ang mag implement Binigyan kami ng contractor, ng supplier. Di, buo na kagad. So, in one month, build kami. Okay? And we decided, kasi wala kaming pera, si Pichi would stay sa Manila and pinak niya lahat ng bagay. Lahat yan, pinak niya on your own. Wala kaming pera to pa, for, 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 for boobers eh. Ako naman, I was going back and forth. Okay? And I was, it was so lonely. And ang, ang bahay ko noon yung kotse, I had this, I had this Suzuki Vitara. Nakikitira ako sa Del Monte sa to stay. And then, uwi ako after three weeks. Kasi nababali ako, wala akong kausap. Pero I was building. Ito, ganun. Ganun na yun. Pero we were building already. Pero, kulang yung pera. Hindi talaga magkakasya. 
So anyway, may couples retreat na naman ng CCF, October, sabi nila sa akin, o sige, tulong ka ulit. So sabi ko kay Pitchy Base, pag pumunta tayo sa bukid nun, ayaw na kita uwi, ang lungkot eh. Hindi na tayo babalik. So sabi niya, paano yung bahay? Kasi yun ang pangkompleto ng farm eh. Paano yung bahay? Sabi ko, no, ang dami ko na nakitang miraculo, God will sell the house. So yung, I think October 9, ang couple seminar, na sabi ko, dapat andun tayo, October 5. So, ginawa ko, uwi ako, third week ng September. Okay? Kasi I was expectant, God will sell the house. Pero wala talagang inquiry. Walang inquiry. Wala talaga. Meron lang isa, I'll explain that to you mamaya. So, when we were waiting for for people to sell, to buy the house, inad namin yan, wala talaga. May, may dumating kami kay kaibigan, sabi niya, but wala pa bang nag inquire sa sa'yo? Patingin nga ng sign mo sa bahay mo. So, meron akong sign sa harap ng gig. Ganyan kalaki. House for sale. So, sabi ng kaibigan ko, ano ang binibenta mo? Bahay o ice candy? <laughs> <laughs> diba? I remember, sabi ko pa sa kanya. I was very confident. Sabi ko pa sa kanya, it is not the size of my sign. It is the size of my God. Pero pampalakas lang yung loob yun. Okay? Pero wala talagang inquiry. The only inquiry we had was, kung ito yung aming subdivision, may andyan yung gate, merong, merong kalye sa likod ng bahay namin, ganyan, to another gate. Merong parang extension yung subdivision. Yung kalye na yun, maraming nakatira doon. Isa doon, nag-inquire sa bahay namin, nag-inquire lang, binibenta ba yan? Pero yun lang yun. Okay? Hindi niya kita yung sign. Diba? Yun lang yun. Pagdating nung Sunday before we have to leave, we have to leave October 5, that is a Friday. Nung Sunday, sabi ko kay Pichi, sabi ko, alam mo, babes, God has always gone before us. I've never challenged God. Pero hindi na tayo makakita sa bukid nun. Andito na itong lupa na to, nagsisimula na yung pigari, hindi na to pwede umatras. Pang bukid nun na taga tayo. Pero the only issue is, paano niya ibibenta yung ay yung bahay. Kaya sabi ko kay Pichi, sabi ko, I think we need to take a step of faith. This time, we need to take a step of faith. So sabi lang niya sa akin, yun ang impression ni God sa akin, the Red Sea. The Red Sea. Hindi ko naitindihan ano yung Red Sea na yan. Pero yun ang impression sa kanya. So we agreed. Monday, we book for a container van na darating on Friday. So we will load. Whether marbentang bahay o hindi pero pagdating ng Wednesday, I got so desperate. Ano mo, huminto na yung construction sa farm, wala na akong pera. Pabalik tayo sa bukid noon, tapos walang mangyayari. So, pinuntahan ko yung nagtanong. Sabi ko, do you want to buy the house? Umuo siya. Siyempre, inoferan kanya ng barat talaga. In my desperation, I said yes. That was a Wednesday. So, sabi niya, sige, sukasuhin mo yung titulo. Throughout the day, kung kasama kami ni Pichi sa munisipyo, wala kami please, parang may mali dito. So that evening, I said, may mali ko. Asensya no, kaya hindi ko kaya gawin. So sabi niya, so paano mo bibenta yung bahay? Sabi ko, si God na ko bahala ko. So, dumating na yung Friday. Walang buyer. Okay? Pero yung container van, hindi pinayagan pumasok ng subdivision. So the container van had to park doon sa kalye, doon sa likod, and doon siya. So, para maglipat kami, dadaanan namin yung bahay. So, I took one chair, punta ako sa, sa container van. After that, hindi na ako nakita ni Pichi. Kung pa'ng nagalit siya sa akin, hindi ako tumulong. Kasi kinausap ako nung tao. Pag-usapan natin yung bahay nyo, yun, ganyan. So, sabi sa akin, ano ba talaga gusto mo sa bahay mo? Dito sabi ko, ito hong gusto ko. It was not the rate I want, but it was lower, but it was enough. Ito ho gusto ko, mauwi sa bukid nun. Nasabi ko, ayoko ho magbayad ng capital gain. Gusto ko yung yung bibili ng magbabayad kasi gusto ko ito uwi ko. Tapos ayoko may magsisinungaling sa bibong sale. Kung ano pinag-usapan, yan yun. Kasi ito sabi ko, gusto ko cash. Kaya ba mo gusto ko cash? <laughs> na, usap-usap kami, mga ganyan, hindi ko pwede yung sa titulo, iba na lang, yung, yung zonal value, mga sakayo ko, oh, ganyan, 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 ganyan
Okay. Payo ka. Kasi ako, payo siya cash. Walang ko lang may cash sa tao nun. Di ba? Then I learned more about him. He was a businessman. Na yung pera niya pinapaikot niya. Hindi siya bumibili ng bahay kasi sayang yung pera sa bahay. Nakatali. However, he really liked the house. Parang feeling niya, gusto gusto niya yung bahay. The first house na binili niya. So may cash siya. Siguro siya lang yung konting tao may cash during the time. Okay? So, inayos namin yung dokumento on the Friday, pero hindi kami natapos. Right? Hindi kami natapos. So, we have to leave on a Monday. We have to change our flight. That Monday, binigyan niya ako ng money just Okay? And then, I remember we were still sa bahay, may pumasok ng mga assessors. So, ito, anong ginagawa niyo? Yung bago hong may-ari, pinapa-assess yung bahay kasi iutang ko daw niya para mapaikot niya yung pera. So, sabi niya, weird who yung bumili ng bahay niya. So, so, bakit naman? Hindi pa rin daw ko niya maintindihan ba't niya binili bahay niya. <laughs> Pero in my mind, sinabihan siya ni God. So that's my story. That, yung story ko, God has always been, you know, giving me na hindi ako, hindi ko pinagkabahuan. So pagdating namin dito, pagdating, para to just also show proof to you, the house I did not work with. Finally, four years after, the property was sold. And so we had money for the house. So this is inheritance. Hindi ko ito pinagkabahuan. Okay? And I'm the person, hindi siguro, I'm, I'm a person who really owns nothing. Kasi wala talaga akong pinagkabahuan. Nagkaroon ako ng farm, hindi ko pinagkabahuan. Nagkaroon kami ng bahay, hindi ko pinagkabahuan. That's the reason, ang lakas ng stewardship idea ko. Kasi never ko siya pinagkabahuan. In fact, itong bahay na to, I felt so insecure, inaway ko misis ko. Can you imagine, nagkaroon na kami ng bahay, bahay inaway ko pang misis ko. Kasi, feeling ko, never ko siya nabigyan ng bahay. Di ba joy ng lalaki, magbigyan ng bahay misis niya, di ba? Pero da, lahat ko galing sa pamilya nila. So, nag-ahaway kami for a while, I was so insecure, until I felt God telling me one morning, sabi niya, Ikaw naman pinaalaga ko. I bless someone else para paalagaan mo. Hmm. Di ba? Amazing. He would bless some people para ibigay sa akin. Eh, eh, that's the reason I teach you. Kung kaya gawin sa akin ni God, pwede niya kaya gawin sa inyo. Di ba? Because I'm really not special. Okay? I'm, I'm really not a special person. Hindi ako bright. Okay? Um, uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very simple. Hindi ako forgot to do this. Di ba? If I ask God, if I ask God, bakit ako? Alam mo, wala akong makita. Except for my quiet time. Anong quiet time? Even before we moved here, I would fight for my quiet time. I remember, uh, pumunta ako yung US, three days ako doon, takbo ako Singapore kasi may meeting. So, grabe jet lag yan. Di ba? Pagdating ko sa hotel, 2 o'clock, tulog ako 4, meeting kami 8, gising ako 6. Huwag ka quiet time ako. Okay? And then, I would obey the Lord. Kaya importante sa akin ang religion. Kasi ando yung blessing. So, pagdating na, namin dito, akala ko, we were here for the piggery. Because we became one of the best uh, growers. Eh. Tapos mamaya, we stumbled on the lettuce. Akala ko, lettuce. Kasi we became the, the, grow, the, uh, the biggest supplier of McDonald's. Eh. And our place is very unique. I'll explain it to you tomorrow. Okay? And then, when all these things happen, ito na, may tumating, nagpapaturo, paano namin ginagawa. So, wala sa plano si Mila, but it was born only because people started to ask. And now we teach. Okay? We teach. I really believe we are here for si Mila. And all of this, our story, sabi ko sa inyo, I told you already, di ba? My product is not the pigs and the heart and the vegetable. My, pro- my product is the story. All of these are props. Props. Ano yung ibig sabihin props? Kasi imagine naka-container van kami. Sino maniniwala sa akin successful ako? So natin tayo yung bahay, dami namin bisita. Tanong sila na tanong. Ano alam mo? Hindi nila alam. Hindi akin yung bahay. <laughs> Kaya yung ganun, God, God gave me credibility. People started to ask. And then, si Milia. 
I really believe I am here because of Sibilla. Now, some of you were invited here. Okay? Eh, nakala nyo, pumunta kayo dito. Eh, ang, ang belief ko, hindi kayo ang pumunta dito. Because there's a verse nga na sinabi ni Pao, I write that in my books, what is John, John 15, 16, he said, you did not choose me. I chose you. That you may bear fruit. So you are here for a special reason. Ako, taga-alaga lang kami ninyo. I don't know ano ang plano ni God sa inyo. I really don't. Pero may plano yan. So people will always ask me, doon gano'ng karaming tudyante mo ang nagsaksin? Ano ang hit rate mo? Sabi ko, zero and one hundred. Yung nag-obey, sigurado. Yung ayaw mag-obey, talagang wala. Okay? But at the end of the day, it's your choice. Di ba? You now all have this principle. Okay? It's your choice whether you leave it out or not. Pero alam ko, may plano na sa inyo sila. Tagakwento lang kami. So you are here for that reason. Kami, we are here for Sibilla to tell you all these stories. Okay? So yan ang rason that kami. Okay? Tapos na. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.